Jane Velez Mitchell here for Jane Unchained, and we're bringing you breaking news on a story we've been covering extensively that a local resident down there in Southwest Florida dubbed Monkey Gate, and it has stuck. Well, neighbors in Henry County say they were left in the dark again. They just learned there's another new monkey breeding company operating in the county, and once again, it wasn't made public. There's a controversy in Henry County, Florida, where there are several monkey breeding facilities and proposals to bring in thousands and thousands more monkeys. And in the midst of all that, Hendry County has just announced it is launching an investigation into one facility, Primate Products. Witness has exclusively obtained government documents which show something else neighbors weren't told. Tests and experiments were performed on the animals and county officials had no idea. That facility is allegedly violating zoning. It's zoned agricultural. It's supposed to be a breeding facility, but Wink News learned exclusively that it has been conducting ex C-section surgeries, invasive surgeries on female monkeys cutting them open and extracting their fetuses and freeze drying the monkey body parts and then uh, selling uh, those parts uh, and fluids, etc., to other companies. Week News spoke to a former technician who said the company would slice open pregnant female monkeys, extract their dead fetuses, then sell them off to buyers. I've been doing this for a long time and seen some things I didn't like. And when I got involved in that, I just... I just knew to myself that I couldn't live with myself if I was going to be doing that. I couldn't do it. So, uh, I want to start out by asking Madeline Duran, who is a Fort Myers resident and who is leading the um, local effort there to get information. What was your reaction when you heard the Wink report that Primate Products was conducting C-section surgeries on pregnant monkeys, cutting them open, removing their fetuses, and freeze-drying body parts for sale. I was horrified. Horrified and heartbroken and thankful to the reporter, uh, who is a Wink reporter, that finally uncovered that information. It is horrific what is going on in our backyard, and we are going to do our dead-level best to have them shut down the, the factories and find a sanctuary for the monkeys. The county found Primate Products performed 1,148 tests and experiments on monkeys last year, the most ever reported by the company. The president confirmed those tests, but calls them animal usage. Do you feel that conducting C-section surgeries on monkeys and cutting them open and removing their fetuses constitutes more than breeding, constitutes, for example, experimentation it sounds to me like it's a violation because this is all part and parcel of the research process think about the procedures you have people gowning up taking out scalpels doing surgical procedures that's not the kind of thing uh, that would qualify as anything other than the kind of thing that a research biological supply house would be doing of course it's a no-brainer it is experimentation and it is a violation of the zoning and they should be shut down Hendry County should look at this as a slap in the face more than just a code violation. Donnie Moss of TheirTurn.net, you've been reporting extensively on this. We're already getting indications from the county via vis-a-vis -vis an article in the news press that, well, you know, everybody's innocent until proven guilty. To me, it seems obvious. If they are performing these experiments, it's a zoning violation. Do you think this is going to be a whitewash? Look, I, there was a whistleblower who came forward and said that uh, vet techs, not even veterinarians, were cutting open monkeys, removing their fetuses, and selling the organs of these fetuses for profit. Uh, and the company, uh, Primate Products, didn't deny that that was happening. So, and even the county administrator said that if this is going on, this is a violation of the county's agricultural zoning Laws. SDA has confirmed to me that they are doing experimentation and testing at that facility. I was not aware of that, but if you would be uh, so kind as to share that contact information with me, I would love to be able to. Does that fall within the agricultural guidelines? No, it does not.
workflow, all of that has already been reported. They can uh, backtrack now, but it's all already on the record that this has been done, and the county administrator has already said that this is a violation of the agricultural zoning. Absolutely, there should be an independent investigation, and the only reason that Hendrick County confronted them was because of the negative publicity that has come about in the last two to three weeks. Hendry County conducting its own investigation uh, into company companies that it courted is is a classic case of the fox guarding the hen house. The county has been extremely defensive for a long time, refusing to tell us how many monkeys. Mr. Chapman, I just have one really important question. Have monkeys arrived at the uh, bioculture facility? Ma'am, I have no clue. That is a private business matter. I, I do not know. Well, I mean, that's the whole heart of this. How, how is it possible that the county wouldn't know about that? that that's what everybody wants to know. Are there, are there monkeys there? Are, where are they coming from? Beyond the site development plan approval process and the building permit approval process, the county does not delve into the day-to-day -day operations of any business in Henry County. So when you, they could bring in half a million monkeys and you would have no, no, that would not be an issue for you at all. They could bring in a million monkeys, two million monkeys. It wouldn't be, th that's it. They could, they could pack the that's entire right. facility, acres and acres. If rights by the federal and the state agencies that regulate their business, then Henry County is not equipped to be able to run herd, no pun intended on that, on these type of businesses. So it, We're a very small, fiscally constrained county with very little staff. We simply fulfill our mandates by statute to review the planning and site development um, reviews, plans, and the rights afforded to our property owners within the property development program. So it does. It, this is a very dangerous situation, ma'am. Can, can I address this, please, first? Well, you think this is more dangerous than this thousands of monkeys? And hurt you. So pl please well, let me please let me help this gentleman. We, we all right. Traffic okay, this a lot, and, and I need to help him get this. Okay, this control. stop sign. You're saying okay. This, uh, this is. I don't. It doesn't look it. like it's I, that dangerous. I mean, these are the the residents of this area are saying this is that a public parking lot for the public facility okay. stop signs take right. priority for me at this moment. Okay. Nobody knew about these expansion plans until. Uh, the stories were broken in the news and there was one facility primera that was under wraps until um reporting exposed it and then a second facility bioculture a company that was chased out of puerto rico uh, we learned was uh, working and hand in hand with primate products slash panther tracks to expand on leased land and bring in thousands and thousands of monkeys. Primate Products is the company embroiled in this uh, monkey abortion scandal. Do you think that that same company and affiliated companies like Panther Tracks should be allowed to work with Bioculture and bring in thousands more monkeys? We don't know how many because nobody will tell us. Of course not. We need somebody to get involved at the federal level or we need an independent investigation because I can tell you that the Hendry County Commissioners have already said privately to me, one of the commissioners said when I spoke to him after a meeting that quote, it's a done deal, unquote. I'm talking about the other one. Just to clarify, there are two new facilities that were approved in secret from the perspective of residents of Henry County. The first is called Primera Science Center, and that is a facility that plans to bring in 3,200 monkeys. That's what we've heard from Mauritius, an island off the coast of Africa. Um, the Animal Legal Defense Fund filed a lawsuit against the county because the residents were not informed and given the chance to provide input into the approval of that facility as required by Florida's Sunshine Law. The Animal Legal Defense Fund filed a lawsuit on behalf of Hendry County residents citing concerns about the potential spread of Ebola. The facility could hold as many as 3,200 long-tailed macacos which have been linked to Ebola. Reports show Hendry County approved the controversial project behind closed doors with only the facility supporters present for that meeting. A couple of months after ALDF filed that lawsuit, 
residents learned of yet another monkey breeding facility called Bioculture that is being built on the same piece of land that a third monkey breeding facility called Primate Products is located. Now, when residents went to the county and said, there's another facility that you didn't tell us about? They said, no, this is just an expansion of an existing facility. The facility that has been referenced over the past few days in the media is an expansion to an existing facility. Drones for Animal Defense, an activist group that exposes from above horrific places of, uh, where animals are being exploited, really exposed to the county, brought footage to the residents of Henry County showing how massive this uh, expansion is. It's hardly an expansion. It's, it is, it's building after building, cage after cage, that you can see. You don't need to be an expert to see that it is going to accommodate thousands of additional monkeys. The residents of Henry County have every right to say to the county, stop, put the brakes on this construction right now. The existing facility is conducting illegal surgeries. How could you possibly allow them to bring in more monkeys when they're breaking the law. Do you feel, Madeline, that all importation of monkeys into Hendry County and all expansions of any and all monkey facilities should be halted pending an independent investigation into all of this monkey business? Jane, absolutely I agree with you. I just will do anything to make that happen. Uh, however, we have tried to contact Pam Bondi, our Attorney General, and we can't ever get a response from her. The powers that be in Florida seem to be more concerned with placating industry than they are to listening to the concerns of individuals, taxpayers such as yourself, Madeline. What really needs to be done here is for an injunction to be filed against uh, the facility, Primate Products, so that they cannot bring in five to 14,000 additional monkeys in a climate where they have been breaking the law by conducting surgical experiments on the monkeys they have there already.